Hey everyone, it's Eric here from Lafix. Got another video for you guys today. Got this older, but it's still nice, right? Seagate drive. And it's in here for data recovery. That's uh, not being recognized by Windows. That's the that's what goes in the work order. So that's what we're going to be taking a look at today. Doesn't look like anything obvious. Doesn't look like it's been opened or anything else. So let's go ahead and plug it in because we always want to see what the customer is seeing too. And then we want to see if we are going to be able to do an access for the data there. So let's plug it in because this one does have a discrete power supply. And uh, usually it's a connection that goes in here, right? So if I plug this in this way, and there's also a USB connection as well. So we can plug it like this. So there's power and then there's data going. So we got the power on. But nothing came on, huh? Unless there's a button here to press. And sometimes there is, sometimes there isn't. And it looks like it might be dead. Because it's not coming on at all. Usually when you plug it in, you should get some type of power, right? So I'm going to plug it in. Maybe it needs the USB connection to plug in. Or maybe not. Okay, so the light came on there. So when I put in the USB, it did that. And let's go ahead and see. So that Seagate light wasn't on there before. So let's see if it recognizes it and see if we can go ahead and access it. Uh, let's go ahead and bring up our disk manager because we should see something, right? And maybe it might crank a little bit. It's a little bit older drive. Maybe it takes a little bit of time to boot up. So we'll give it a few more seconds and then otherwise, no. Because uh, we should see something here, at least even if it's a Mac drive or any other type of drive, it should show up at least here if there's any type of good positivity, right? Nope, it's not showing up at all. It's exactly what the customer said, right? It's not being recognized by Windows, which is correct. This is a good symptom of that. Uh, I don't know if you guys can hear it, but I can feel it is spinning in there. Disk looks to be actually probably um, on, right? So what we need to do is let's uh, disconnect this. And what we want to do, because we have a drive like this, right? These are usually, if they're bigger like this, they usually have a bigger drive in there, uh, especially if they're older. Um, they have a three and a half inch drive. If it senses a Seagate, I would hope it would be a Seagate drive in a Seagate device. You are right. You would probably think so. So there's probably a Seagate drive in here. And it's probably a three and a half inch drive connected to um, a power supply and also another USB connection. So, you, so it makes it for easy accessibility, right? There's probably a controller on there. There's um, power and data going through it. So we want to remove that part and we just want to access the drive. So we're going to go ahead, open this up and let's take a look. So we see in here, we have a four terabyte drive, Seagate. I'm glad it's Seagate, Seagate and a Seagate drive. <laughs> Usually it's just pretty much two at this point now, right? It's just Seagate Western Digital. You don't really see too much else anymore for mechanical hard drives at least. Which is funny because a lot of data centers use it. Uh, external storage still is expensive, especially for getting higher stuff with like two terabyte or higher. Uh, especially with four terabyte, you're gonna want probably more mechanical drive because the prices still are quite high for that one. So let's go ahead and remove this because sometimes under these screws can be a little bit, but you see there's a SATA connection that connects from the SATA to the USB board. And then there is something on the back there, but we want to just remove this. We want to take this out and I know they don't make this fun to take out. So pull up and out and let's take off this. Oh yeah, this whole thing connects, huh? Stick into my glove. Okay, there we go. So we took out the USB um, power area and we don't care about this anymore. So now we're left with this uh, Seagate Barracuda drive. It's a four terabyte drive. And let's go ahead and plug it in because we have our little hard drive connector here. Oh, the tank. oh it's so tangled. <laughs> so let's go ahead and plug this in. Now, let's see what we get. Let's go. Okay, you see the light there? Got some power. We got the disk spinning, which is good. Well, it still seems to have the same issue, right? Nothing actually came up on Windows there. Let's go ahead and check. Let's go back to our screen capture and see if anything, any disk is being read. And we don't see anything else there. Just ends at disk three. And yeah, we don't see the disk actually come up, but the drive is spinning. What we need to do is we need to see if um, we can access it a different way. Um, now what we can do first before we go anything else, before we even take a look at it, because it is spinning, um, we want to see what the problem may be. We want to know if it's an internal problem or if there's a problem Maybe with the PCB there, maybe it's not registering, maybe it's a stuck in like a busy mode or something. So I'm going to go ahead and take this out and we're going to go over to our data recovery tools that we use for um, whenever we do head replacements and to access the data from that way, from that angle, I guess. And uh, we'll see what the symptoms are for this one and we'll see if anything changes and we're able to access it from there or if we need to open up this drive to see if we need to um, do any uh, like a physical inspection on it. So. Let's go ahead and actually take a look at it and let's go from there.
Okay, so let's go ahead and check the drive. Looks to be good for the most part. No crazy issues with it there. But we need to work with it still a little bit. We can actually use sectors and stuff. And we're actually able to get the data. Anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video on doing the data recovery for this 4 terabyte Seagate drive. If you did, please leave a like. It really does help us a lot. Subscribe for more content. And I gotta go get that because we got more business to do. So, see you guys next video. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. Take care. Bye.